Hello, this is the Details Flower software, and today this video is going to go over our proposal section. You'll notice in this area, your proposal settings give you the option to choose your theme. Your account will come with three different themes, and those themes will change the layouts of the first two pages, titled the cover and the concept. Once you choose your theme, you can continue on with editing all of your defaults. In the top left-hand corner, if you ever look to add additional themes, you can navigate to our Marketplace and Details add-ons. Right below the themes is the option to change your page number format. You'll notice that we have what we're calling tokens in place for you to autofill things like the client's full name and page number. Right below that, you have the choice of how that's going to be aligned at the bottom of the page, whether it be right, center, or left. If you'd like to see all the options that we have for these tokens, you can click this little personalize icon and it will navigate you to our support article on all the tokens that we offer. From here, you can simply copy this token and paste it wherever you'd like to use it. You're going to notice that in our preview section at the bottom of this page that that format is currently not showing. The moment that you'll see the format of the client's full name and page number in this case is once you save and publish the proposal. So I can see here Molly Flowers and her page number. Coming back to details, you'll notice that you have the option to change your fonts. The primary font in here gives you the option to change your category type, your family, and then your variant. On the right, the font preview will appear. Below the primary font is the secondary font options, which is the headings of the proposal. From there, you have the option to adjust the company info header. This header is pulling from your company settings. However, if you run two different businesses and need to upload a different logo, you can always choose to do that per event. From here, your company name can be permanently written or you can use a token. This information is what is showing at the top right-hand corner of the proposal. And you'll notice the second line also gives you the option of tokens along with the info line number two. So you can keep this as simple or robust as you prefer. Once you have your settings all done, you can scroll to the bottom of the page where we're going to see a preview of the proposal and on the left hand side, your proposal editing options. In this area, the themes will have placeholder images and to adjust those images, you're going to click into the picture. It will load a section called All Inspiration. This section is filled with pictures that come from multiple different types of events. If you choose from in the top right hand corner your event inspiration, these will be any of the images that you have taken the time to collect from that all inspiration area. Right below event inspiration is the favorited items. These items are pulling from your worksheet section on the design board for this customer. The last section is going to be your favorited recipes. These will be the specific recipes or images that you had loaded to the worksheet for this client or that you gathered from your resource section. At any point in time, if you see a red box as you're navigating your mouse around the screen, that is alerting you that you can adjust what that has to say. You'll notice on the left hand side that we have the option to add multiple names, featured titles, line text. At the very bottom, if you do not want this information to share, you can show bottom contact info to hidden. Be sure to save any of these changes at the bottom of the page before navigating to the next page in the top right hand corner. 
The concept page is going to work just like the cover. This is going to come with placeholder images that you're going to click in, choose from favorited items, replace those items accordingly. You can also choose at any point in time to turn these images to no image and not use that placeholder at all. If you are not ready to share this information with the customer, on the left-hand side under the proposal editor, you can choose to hide the whole entire page. Finally, in the overall feeling section, you can customize anything you would like to share. The next page of the proposal is going to be the design agreement. This page is pulling the information from the details tab across the top for this customer, Molly. Once again, any red box that you see is alerting you that you can make changes to those headers. The next page is going to be your items. This will include all the items that you pulled over into your recipes. You no longer have to click them and replace them. If there's a section you do not want to show to the client, you can choose to find that category on the left and turn it to hidden. The next page of the proposal is going to be all of your line items. These line items are pulling from your worksheet section and they will include all the information that you had filled in there. On your left hand side, you can choose to hide things like the line item pricing. Potentially you don't name every one of your recipes, you can choose to hide the recipe name. Really, any of the information on the right-hand side can be hidden and turned back to visible if and when you prefer. The next page is going to be your terms. These terms pull from your company settings or from the financials tab underneath event terms if you edited them for this specific client. The breakdown page is going to be really transparent of any fees or discounts that you have added. Once again, this can be a choice to be hidden. The next page of the proposal is going to be the summary. This shares that information once again in a less detailed fashion. On the right hand side, you will see the payment schedule that you had set up underneath the financials and payments along with any payments that you have recorded. The mail to section is coming from your company settings. At the very bottom of this page, you can choose to click into the company area and put your signature. Or you can choose on the left hand side to simply hide that line item. If these changes that you had made, such as hiding a certain page, or maybe turning the line item price to hidden, is something you would like to happen every time you come to this proposal section, you're gonna choose in the menu across the top to save this as your default. This way, every event you build will automatically start with those settings and you can customize them per client moving forward. We also give you the option to have multiple different types of templates. So potentially you have the template set up more for a corporate event versus a wedding. Maybe they're hiding different pages or sharing more information than another. Once you are done editing the preview section, you will then save and publish. This will create a proposal link on the right hand side that you can copy and paste into your email to send off to the client. Before sending this link out, you can click the view button below it to see exactly what the customer is going to see. They'll be able to accept and sign this electronically. Once they sign this document, they will get an email alert that they had signed it. And you Before sending this link out, you can click the view button to see exactly what the customer is going to see. They'll be able to accept and sign this electronically. And once they do, they will get a confirmation screen that it has been signed. You will receive an email alert that the customer signed the document as well. 
From here, the customer can simply navigate through the proposal to see all of the things that you are designing. Heading back to details, that signed document is going to be stored underneath Molly's name. In this area, you'll have to click View Documents and you'll see every time it has been signed. You can also choose to look at proposal versions that you've made in the past by right clicking and opening the link in a new tab. In this section of proposal access, you also have a history area that shows you every time you saved and published this proposal for this customer. You can choose to set an expiration date. And if the customer chooses to click on that link after the date you set, they will get an email alert that says they can no longer view the document to reach back out to you. You can also choose to manually revoke access. If you make any changes to the proposal or the worksheet section, and you would like the customer to see those changes after they already have the link, you'll simply click Save and Publish. Prior to doing so, you have the option to change the client signature to be retained or not. If you have it on Yes, it keeps their signature into the proposal once you save and publish. If you toggle to no, it will swipe it clear and have the customer re-sign the proposal. We hope that this video was helpful. If you have any other questions, you can always navigate to the top left-hand corner underneath our support area. You'll also notice a purple chat box appears in our bottom left-hand corner.